If you think the stock market is hot, what about the talent market? A temp agency turns into a talent agency. Meet an entrepreneur who trades in human capital. Hi everyone, welcome to Entrepreneurs Only. I'm Donald Vandermark. Tonight, the emerging universe of e-commerce. Whether you're selling computers or selling human talent, entrepreneurs are latching and logging on to the e-commerce revolution. Coming up, be your own company. You as the entrepreneur maximizing the market for your labor. It's an idea being popularized by young techies and the magazine Fast Company. It's also helped our next guest build a $130 million temp agency. The high, fast-moving, and lucrative end of the temp business when CNN FN returns. Stunning 20% of the U.S. workforce uh, works freelance or at least as independent professionals. John Chuang has turned a part of this group of independent human capital into his own profitable workforce. After running a typesetting business in college and coming into contact with lots of freelancers, Chuang decided there was a need for an agency that would place independent professionals. So in 1986, he founded Laser Designs. It's since changed names twice, first into Mac Temps, now into its current name, Aquent. Startup capital, just a $5,000 bank loan, and it's grown dramatically in its 12 years. Aquent now has 300 talent agents and over 12,000 clients that they are currently placing. Expected revenues for this year, $150 million, $130 million last year. Joining us now, the CEO and founder of Aquent, John Chuang. How are you? Very good. How are you? That's a stunning number. One in five. I guess home builders or freelancers? Yeah, it's a very little known fact, but literally there are 25 million independent professionals in the United States, or 20% of the U.S. workforce, and they're either working as freelancers, contractors, or self-employed people. Now, I, we kept saying temp agency, because that's maybe the best way to describe, or at least the easiest way for people to latch onto the idea, but it's, it's a lot more than a temp agency. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up, because Aquent is really, what we view it as is a talent agency, and it's, we're really a firm that represents independent professionals and helps them manage their careers. But are they only working on a temporary basis? No, um, they're working on, well, they're working on a contract basis. So they go from assignment to assignment um, and really work on assignments that help them fulfill their career objectives. What are the main type of worker that you're representing? Right now we uh, represent graphic design professionals um, and web specialists as well as technical people. But you're not representing lawyers and doctors? Not yet, but we have new services on the works to represent all sorts of professionals. Uh, what Aquin is really all about is helping this 20 million independent professionals become successful. Well, tell me about the market demand for this. I mean, are there all sorts of corporations that want to hire someone just for a few months? Yes, the market demand for independent professionals is booming, and Aquin is really stepping up to make it easy for clients and temps to match each other up. Um, Why has the business, in a way, moved up the food chain? In the old days, we knew that there needed secretaries or receptionists or cleaning people or whomever. Why has it moved up? Why do people want temporary Companies today are really looking for just-in-time skills, so they want to plug an expert in at the exact right time. On the uh, talent side, talent is not looking for uh, a 30-year career in a company anymore. What they're looking at is exciting, challenging work when they want it. So when you put this all together, it comes up to an independent independent contract sort of lifestyle. We, you know, this show is all about entrepreneurs, and we uh -huh. found that they think and act differently. They build their lives differently. They almost have a different vocabulary. Yeah. Are you talking about almost an evolution or revolution in the way people think about their own work product? Yeah, we really think that in the future, companies are going to be disintermediated, and essentially everyone is going to become <laughs> their own business. And But in order to do that, I think you need a company that helps support that those services. And that's why we are providing agents, we are providing financial services, we are providing the infrastructure about helping you become your own business. Now, this is fascinating because I don't think people out there would understand that you provide these workers, independent professionals, even things like 401k plans, paid vacations? Yes. 
the key, the key problem of being an independent professional right now is that society is really geared around the W-2 employee. The way health insurance, for example, is distributed in our, uh, in our country is through the employer. But if you work independently, you don't have an employer. Therefore, you need to get health insurance through other institutions. And we are an institution that provides health insurance, disability insurance, 401k, uh, but dental insurance, vacation, holiday, it's really quite complete. You also provide training, so people are evolving their skills constantly, or at least moving the way the market would want them to move. Yes, independent professionals, it's very important that um, as an independent professional, you earn what you learn. And so what we do is help train people to make sure that they can really achieve their career objectives. Now tell us about your business, because we've talked about these individuals as sort of entrepreneurs onto themselves. Um, you've grown relatively quickly, but relatively steadily. We've grown around 40% a year for the last uh, five years in a row. Are you privately owned? We're privately held. Um, in the future, uh, potentially, we'll be public, but right now, we're very happy being a private company. But why would you go public? The only companies that do really well make no money, usually have very small <laughs> revenues, have huge losses. I mean, do you put a dot-com at the end of your name and start losing money? Well, the reason why uh, we would want to go public is that we have very, very ambitious plans. Um, and in order to raise the money necessary to implement those plans, perhaps one day a public structure might make sense. Now, you're private. You don't have to tell us this, John, but if you were going to have $150 million in revenues this year, what kind of profits? If you want to just give us a range or a margin or something? Right. Our um, profits, we, we don't reveal our profits to the public, but uh, we're a very uh, uh, profitable company that does, that does well. Are you the sole owner? Um, no, I have two other partners. Darn. Well, congratulations and good luck with the business. Thank you very much. We appreciate the evolution in the way people work. John Schwang.